welcome back to my channel. Wow, it sounds really weird or it feels real weird to say that. I obviously haven't posted in a while. I just honestly haven't had the motivation for anything like besides work, sleep and eat. That sounds really depressing, but that's honestly how my life has been. And I only just now recently got back motivation to even just read. I haven't picked up a book in ages until now recently, which is crazy, but yeah, I think I really needed a break and hopefully I'm back now for good. I don't know. I've just been lacking motivation for anything and but it's it's getting better and I'm excited to read again. I'm excited to talk about books and I want to talk about books because that's what I've missed about this community is that like you're my friends that I talk to about books. I don't really have too many people in my life where I can discuss books or even TV shows and movies which are like my big interest. It feels so nice to have this community here and I'm glad because I've still gotten a lot of people following me, a lot of people commenting or messaging me saying that they miss my videos, which means a lot. And that's honestly a reason why I'm doing it because you guys have gotten my motivation back, which is really, really cool. But yeah, the first video back I thought would be a fun video, which is like the best videos to watch a book haul. I recently went to book shopping in this like city that has two amazing bookstores. And of course I did some shopping. I counted them just now because I just got out of the, of the bag and I have 14 books, I think, which is pretty good. I, I'm really, it's a good number. Most of them I've heard of, but actually I'm proud of myself because I got a little bit out of my comfort zone. A few of these books I've never seen or heard about, which is weird for me because usually I'm such a safe buyer. I only buy books if I know I'm going to like them. Like, because it's a lot of money. Like, books are really expensive, especially if you buy them in a physical store, which is like, what I did because it's so fun but um I have a mixed variety of genres I have graphic novel contemporary horror thriller I have a lot of different ones so I'm very excited so let's just get into it the first book I got is must I go by Ji Jun Lee which I've never heard about or seen I think it's a pretty popular one but I don't think I've ever seen it on the internet before what drew me into this was actually the cover and at this point in the store I had picked up so many like horror thriller books like scary books so I really wanted a lighter book and this one looked really really cute I just I really fell in love with the cover and I did read a little bit about it it seemed like a really cool book that really gets you thinking I don't know a whole lot about it but I felt like it was a really inspirational book and more like a serious book in comparison to others that I bought. <laughs> so I don't know too much about it as I've said, but it seems like we follow an older woman who has outlived three husbands, raised five children and seen the birth of 17 grandchildren. Now she has turned her attention to one particularly strange little book, the diary of a long forgotten man, man named Roland Bowley, with whom she had a fleeting affair. So I feel like we are gonna follow this woman's life. So she's a bit older and I feel like we're gonna follow her life maybe get some memories from her i feel like it's gonna be one of those books where you learn a lot you know kind of like the seven husbands of evelyn hugo you follow this one person that has a story to tell like she has an entire life that she has lived and experienced and i feel like it's gonna be one of those really touching books i'm hoping and i'm really really excited to pick it up next book i got was a stephen king book of course i needed to get at least one stephen king book and that is different seasons which i don't know a whole lot about but if you know me and you have followed my channel for a while you know that i'm on a mission to read like every stephen king book and even i guess if they don't sound too appealing i still want to read it but this one has actually been on my amazon wish list for a while so when i saw it i really needed to get it also it was i think it is one of those new covers where you have um the beautiful spine so in the bookstore this was like lined up with all the others so it was like a beautiful rainbow and i wanted to buy them all but it's a good start i want to get all of them the new covers because they're beautiful so yeah don't know a whole lot about it it's stephen king so i'm expecting um weird storylines a lot of gruesomeness things happening i'm experiencing a bit or i'm expecting a bit confusion it's just it's stephen king guys like i I just bought it because it was him, you know? It's just, it is what it is. Oh, it actually says in this classic collection of four novellas. So we have four novellas in this one, which is pretty cool. So um, I'm very excited. The next book I got, as soon as I saw it, I got it because I loved the other two books. I think it's a trilogy. So of course I needed to have it. And it is Act Your Age, Eva Brown by Talia Hibbert. So I loved the first two. There were woody, 
easy to read page turner it was sexy hot romantic funny it was all you wanted in like a light summer read and i've been wanting to get the third book forever and i saw it i grabbed it so i'm very excited for this one we follow the third sister here in each one of these books we follow one of the sisters so in this one we follow eve brown which i don't know a whole lot about but i'm excited to get to know her because i loved the other two sisters and their story in the other two books we had you know the sister <clears throat> living her life you got to get to know her really and in every one of these books you had a love interest and it was just a really I don't know, I just love the writing style in these books and I'm so excited to read this one and hopefully I will fall in love with Eve and also fall in love with the love interest as I've done in the previous books. The next book I got was Forrester by Grady Hendrix. Of course I needed to have this. I've read two other books by Grady Hendrix, really really love them. This has been on my wishes forever and I saw it. I think they only have one copy left. So I took it as fast as I could and I'm so happy I did. What obviously Grady Hendrix has such a cool covers. I have the one my best friend's exorcism the cover looks like a old tape like oh old vhs tape which is really cool and then this looks like an ikea catalog which is cool i'm swedish so it's just cool and obviously it's the inside that counts you can have such a cool cover and the book can suck i you never know but i've really enjoyed his other books that i've read so i'm really excited about this one i don't know if we actually have like a haunted warehouse if that's the plot or if it's just like looks like an ikea catalog i don't know but it's horror it's gonna be spooky creepy but also fun because his other horror books i've still found them funny you know they're not too too dark they're still fun which i love the next book i got was anatomy a love story by sana schwartz i think i've seen this cover because when i saw it in the bookstore i did recognize it which is probably why i bought it i don't know a whole lot about it i think it's a love story but I also think it's like something else. I'm not sure, I don't know a whole lot about it, but um, I've seen people talk about it, so I was intrigued and the cover was cool, just, you know, fair enough. Ooh, it actually says, a love story, a murder mystery, a horror novel bound up together in ghoulish stitches. That's really cool. I love when we have all these genres combined together. It's so fun and you feel like you never get bored. I'm very excited, I feel like I have no idea what it's about which i think is good i think it's good to go to go into books without really knowing too much so i'm i'm very excited about this one the next book i got i've seen i think gabby Reed talk about and she has read so many like horror thriller books she's like the motivation for me reading horror thriller i feel like she's the reason why i got into books like this and i saw this one in the bookstore and i recognize it my heart is a chainsaw by stephen graham jones it's, I think it's a horror slasher, 80s slasher film kind of style, which is always fun. Again, I don't think this is like a scary, scary horror dark that will keep you up at night. I think it's going to be like a fun horror. I, I'm not sure though, but I think so. Either way, I'm happy with it. And the first um, sentence is what got me into it. You won't find a more hardcore 80s slasher film than high school senior Jane Daniels. Like, I just love a good 80s slasher film type of book. It's so much fun. And I feel like, I don't know if it is though, but I mean, I think Gabby really liked it. So, and I have seen multiple people talk about it. I've seen a lot on Bookstagram. So I think I'm going to enjoy it. And I've been in a horror kick lately. So I think it's just going to be perfect. The next book I picked up, I picked up on such a whim. It is Hell by Sean David Hutchinson. And if you have followed my channel for a while, you know that I really, really enjoy this author. I've talked a lot about this author back in the days, like maybe like a few years ago on my channel i loved his book we are the ants and i think i've read a few more by him and since then i have put all of his books on my amazon wish list and i just never got them i just i don't know i just kind of lost interest i kind of found other books to read but then i saw this one in the bookstore and i picked it up because of the cover i didn't see that it was this author until i like i picked it up and i was like oh my gosh it's Sean David Hutchinson. I loved his book back in the day and this probably a new one because I haven't seen it around. I haven't seen it around at all. So I got really intrigued and it was in the horror section. So, but again, I don't think he's the type of author that writes like dark, dark, keep you up at night horrors. I think it's going to be a fun one. And all of his other books that I've read has like life lessons. You kind of 
really learn stuff and they're inspirational. His books tend to be really inspirational and motivational in my opinion and, and whenever I close one of his books it like gets me thinking and that's what I love about an author and his writing style. When it does that to you it's, it's really special. But yeah judging it by the cover it looks like kind of a fun fantasy horror novel. I definitely think it's YA. His other books are YA so Ooh, the other book that I read by him is called At the Edge of the Universe, I think, which also was really, really good. His his books just really got me thinking and I've really, really enjoyed them. Though it's been a couple years and now I'm older, we'll see. Maybe I've grown past this. I don't know, maybe it's for a younger audience. If you look at the text, I mean, it's kind of... I don't know. I'm not going to judge it without having to read it, but it's been a few years. It's been a few years since I've read books by him, but he's always gonna have a special place in my heart. And when I saw this, I just needed to get it. The next book I got was a pure cover by, I've never seen this before, but the cover was so cool, is this one, Eat Your Heart Out by Kelly Devos. So such a cool cover, and I don't think it looks like a horror novel, but it was again in the horror section. And we have zombies in here. If you read at the back, it says zombies, and I think it's somewhat about a few people. You follow a few characters at camp, I believe. I'm not sure. And it's like, which ones will survive? Like, it says on the back, which feather life campers will survive? Only time will tell. So we have V, Ali, Steve, Paul, Sheldon, and Rachel. So six people that we are gonna follow, and maybe not everyone will survive. I don't know. It feels like a, a really fun zombie book i'm not sure but it was it was a cover by i'm gonna i'm gonna give you that it, it definitely covered that drew me in but i am really excited to read it i feel like it's gonna be a fun book to read maybe in between some heavier books i can pick this one up to feel better <laughs> the next book i picked up is actually the only graphic novel i picked up i wanted to pick up more because one of these bookstores that i went to has a lot of manga and graphic novels but i couldn't really find something that i liked except this one this one i've been having on my wish list for a while ever since i saw it on bookstagram and i'm so glad i got it it's a bit heavier than i thought it's, it's a lot bigger than i thought but honestly that's so exciting it is on a sunbeam by tilly woolden um you probably recognize this it's been all over bookstagram and I'm finally getting to the party. It is huge. It's massive and it looks really really cool and it says back here On a Sunbeam is a slow burn romance and a found family space opera adventure with an engaging cast of characters in a gloriously strange setting that is brilliantly original. Doesn't that sound cool? Two timelines, second chances, one love. It sounds so cool and I missed reading graphic novels. I haven't read a graphic novel since Heartstopper and I just find it difficult to find graphic novels that I enjoy. So hopefully I will enjoy this. It's a really big one as I've said, but it's a graphic novel so it will probably be pretty quick. And it's really cool, the, the style of it. It has like a bit of color and I just, oh, I'm so excited to have a graphic novel again to read. It's been a while. Okay, so now I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, the five books left. And now we're kind of moving on to the um, romance books, which is the last five books that I've bought. So this one bookstore that I went to is focusing on horror, sci-fi, fantasy, manga, graphic novels. They don't really have any contemporary romances. So that's how I got like those ones. And these five last ones I got at the other bookstore that focuses more on like, they have self-help books, classics, romance, uh, contemporary. So um, yeah, these five ones are going to be a little bit more lighter books. <laughs> Okay, so the next book I got is Beach Read by Emily Hendry. This one has obviously been on my wish list forever. I read Emily Hendry's People We Meet on Vacation and I adored that one. That was really good. It was actually one of my favorite romances that I've read and I've read quite a few now and it still sticks out to me as one of my favorite ones. I really, really enjoyed the chemistry between the people and I thought it was a really good book. So ever since then, I've been wanting to read Emily Henry's other books. I was hesitant to pick this one up because I don't like this cover. There was a cover, a different cover that I enjoy more that's like on Amazon, but this one was here and I just wanted to read it. I wanted to grab it, so I got it. I mean, I don't hate it, but there is a better one. I mean, the other one is so much better. I just, I don't really like this type of cover, but it, it's fine. I don't know too much about what it's actually about, but it's it's a summer read, a romance. It's Emily Henry. I wanted to pick it up because of that. On the back, it says, January is a hopeless romantic who narrates her life like she's the lead in a blockbuster movie. Gus is a serious literal type who thinks true love is a fairy tale. But January and Gus have more in common than you think. They're both broke. 
they have a crippling writer's block and they need to write bestsellers before summer ends. Oh, so we have two writers perhaps. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a quick, fun read. Again, to read like in between heavier books if I'm in the mood for something light when I'm in the mood for a romance. I think it's going to be perfect to pick up. Of course, I needed to get some Colin Hoover books that I got without Married by Colin Hoover, which is definitely talked about, but definitely not talked about as much as her other books. I've read all the popular ones. I've read I Love, It Ends With Us. I've read Verity. I have read Regretting You. I've read Confess. And I want to read all of her books. Maybe not all, but like I want to read the popular ones to see what the hype is about, you know? And I have actually enjoyed her books that I've read except one, which was Regretting You, which I didn't like. I'm gonna talk about that more either in a wrap up or like in a reading vlog, I'm not sure because it's actually really popular, but I did not like it at all. I liked Confess way more, which is not talked about at all. So that was such a bummer to me. I was like so excited about Regretting You because it was so highly well spoken of. And then it sucked and like confess i had so low expectations because no one was talking about it and i ended up loving it so i feel like with colin hoover it's you can't always like the hype you have to like lower your expectations maybe because they're so hyped up and it's not going to be for everyone her books have a lot of emotion a lot of feelings a lot of conflict a lot of difficult and serious topics like it's, it's gonna be they're not easy books, they're pretty heavy, to be honest, to be like contemporary romances, they're pretty heavy. But this one, I haven't heard too much, I don't know what it's about, but again, it's Colin Hoover, so I wanted to buy it. And I got another Colin Hoover book, which was Layla, and this one I've, I've been wanting to pick up for ages. I remember when I bought Verity, I was, I was choosing between this one and Verity, I ended up picking up Verity, which I did enjoy, but ever since then I've been wanting to pick this one up. Don't know too much about it. I know people loved it. I know a lot of people have read it and really enjoyed it. I see it all the time. I'm assuming it's a romance with like if you read in the back, but don't know too much about it. But again, it's Colin Hoover. It's gonna be more than romance. She has a way of, of really putting stuff out there. It's, it's not easy. It's not, there's always some deep stuff in her books and I'm excited about it. I'm just, I have no idea what to expect. The next book I got is All Roads Lead Here by, by Mariana Zapata. Sorry, having a hard time pronouncing names. But this one I've seen, honestly, probably most on BookTok, but also on Bookstagram. It's, I don't know why, if I've seen someone compare the two or if it's just like how I'm thinking this is gonna be. I, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a resemblance to Credence by Penelope Douglas. <clears throat> if you have read that book, you know, it's weird. I, I'm i not regretting that I read it. It was fun and it's like, if we're in that mood, then like, why not? It was an experience and I feel like this one kind of, it's reminding me of that. I haven't read it obviously, but reading from the back and like the, the cover and like everything just seemed to be just like Credence, which is, I don't know how to feel about that. But, um, but I honestly think this is going to be better because I've seen a lot more people talk highly of this one rather than Credence because... I just, I don't know, I've just seen a lot about this book recently and as soon as I saw it, I really wanted to pick it up. I also love a heavy paperback like this. Like, I think it's really, really heavy and quite thick to be a contemporary or romance or whatever it is. But um, let's read the back. Losing people you love is hard. Aurora de la Torre knows moving back to a place that was once home isn't going to be easy. Starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be but a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart. So, you know what I'm talking about? Like the resemblance to Credence. We have, in Credence, we have this girl who lost her parents and is moving in with her uncle and cousins, so not actually blood related. Um, and she's moving in with them and they live like in the middle of nowhere. Is it Alaska? Might be Alaska, like in the middle of nowhere in the mountains, like you don't have civilization for miles and you know, she's broken hearted because of her parents that died. And I feel like this is such a resemblance to that. Just reading the back, I'm expecting the same vibe at least. Probably not the same thing that's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know if I can take that, but I'm expecting the same kind of vibes. Uh, broken hearted girl in the middle of the nowhere, like a, a love interest, you know, it's, it's, I'm here for it. The last book I got, I did not expect to get, but I saw it there, the entire series was there, but I ended up getting just the first book because I'm not sure if it's for me, but it's obviously so well spoken of on book talk, but I am afraid it's a bit for a younger audience. I'm not sure. I'm having a hard time to like figure out 
like what my thing is you know i'm i'm 22 i just i don't know where i'm at but it is twisted love by anna huang um so i think it's at least a trilogy i don't know if it's more but it definitely was three books in the bookstore and this is the first one it's a love story i don't know too much about it i just know i've seen it all over the internet so i was intrigued to get it because of that i mean so many people like it you want to give it a shot so it's called the twisted series and it's about a guy named Alex and a girl named Ava. So yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those pretty angsty ones with like a lot of tropes. Um, probably very like young adult-ish. I don't think it's gonna be like a mature thing. I think it's gonna be a lot of drama, a lot of angst, um, which, you know, could be fun if you're in that mood. I'm not saying it's gonna be bad. I'm just probably going in, probably going in with this with kind of low expectations just to like be surprised. I mean, I'm... If you have read this, please let me know because I feel like maybe it's for a younger audience. I'm not sure, but I'm excited. Yeah, that was it for my book haul. It was so fun. I feel like I got a lot of different types of books. I have horror, I have graphic novels, romance, contemporary. Such a fun variety of books and I'm really excited to read all of these and hopefully I will get to most of them soon. I am so freaking excited. But yeah, if you have read any of these, please let me know. If you're wanting to, please let me know your thoughts. I would love to chat about them with you guys. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye.